Hi friends, it's Tammy in my world in OKC and I have a design team project share. <coughs> Excuse me. This is for Norella at Calico Collage. This is her beautiful kit, Grandma's Garden. This is so beautiful, you guys. If you haven't picked this up yet, you're going to want to. Um, I will link everything down below for you. This is my cover and I did do some, uh, wink, or I'm sorry. Oh, I just went blank on what I used. The glassy accents. Yes, that's it. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> and I did this butterfly, and I did put some foam behind it to give it some dimension. Love the glossy accents on here, though. Not sure if you're seeing that come across. Anything that was blue had the glossy accents and then the butterfly. And this is just a small paper journal, but so beautiful. Here is some vellum. Here I just sewed on some lace. Beautiful tuck pocket. Really love her pockets and tags and stuff she makes for these kits. They're so beautiful. Coffee dyed paper throughout. Some trims, a button. Here is one of her tags. I did cut this tag down because I didn't want it sticking up over the top. And I did do uh, reinforcements on these this time. Here I just did this little paper clip embellishment here and it does have this little pine cone. <coughs> Excuse me. And then here where you can just write a little note or a letter, this all opens up and uh, I did put some beautiful uh, paper that I had from a, like a sticky pad and I just folded it in half and backed it and put it in here because I just thought it matched the kit fairly well. So I like that. So I put that in there. And I love my paper clip I made. Those were so fun. I bent around the edges and made them look, you know, just a little more sophisticated. And then I put charms on them. And I did quite a few of these at a time, uh, which I really need to make some more. And then some ledger paper. In the middle here, I just put a little bee that I got from Bee Crafts. Here's just a little tuck spot I made. Some of the pom-pom trim. I actually will have more of this pom-pom trim in the shop in the next coming week. Because I know I've been getting questions about that. Here, this is a little page flip. It just flips up for a little hidey spot to write a little secret note if you want. I have hurt the muscle in my right arm, and so everything I do is kind of awkward right now. I don't know what I have done, but I have, like, tore this muscle right here, and so um, I feel a little awkward today. <laughs> here is some little tuck spot with some writing journaling cards. Here, I actually just took some extra embellish embellishments that were left over, put it with a piece of the ledger paper, and this flips all the way down if you want it to. But I just flipped it up and I'm using it as a little tuck spot. Thought it was kind of cute and different and, you know, just kind of give my little touch to it. And then here, another big tuck with some tags and journaling cards. Some more of the trim. This here, you can have this for a tuck spot if you like. Some more of the vellum. Here, just a little sticker. This was actually laying on my desk, and I was just like, oh, my God, that goes with the kit. I need to add it. So I did. <laughs> and there's the back. But this is so beautiful, and I had a lot of fun working with this kit. And I actually want to make some more of the, oh, I made one with the B kit last month. Um, and I want to do with this kit as well the little, um, oh, I call them ephemera uh, wallets. Uh, but I want to use this kit with that as well, which that will be coming up because I definitely will show it when I get done. But everybody go over, check out Norella uh, Calico Collage. I link everything down below. And uh, plus this will be on my Facebook group. And you guys, hopefully you'll like it. If you don't, I'm sorry. Uh, but I think it's very beautiful and I love the kit and I enjoyed working with it. So you guys make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next video. Bye, my friends.